Hey everybody and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. You join us uh, back in Nipton. Yep, we just uh, made our way back here after, you know, going and threatening the NCR for the... Uh... Oh. The... Legion, yeah, the Legion. Yeah, so we're going to head over here. Here's something I've always found interesting, by the way. Look at this. Nipton Hotel. Look how big you think this building is. Door, window, you know. We're going to head on inside. Door, window. I'm pretty sure it's much bigger on the inside. Not 100%, but it looks quite a bit bigger. I could be wrong. Anyways, yeah, there's a bunch of dead NCR in here, which is a great place to get... Uh, some NCR armor, you know, if you don't want to push somebody onto some landmines, and some helmets, um, helmets are pretty nice, they don't weigh a lot, and they, uh, yeah, break into the back here, if you make your way over here, um, just cash register, that's a lot easy. And we finally got our lock picking skill up to 25, so we can start breaking into stuff if I didn't suck at it so badly. No, it's uh, no loot. Uh, the no loot run has made me spoiled because I don't have to remember how to pick locks. Alright, so done with that. There's a couple other good places to explore around here. Um, yeah. There's this house right here. Always want to check all the mailboxes. This house doesn't have much. I think it does have one good thing, though. Well, there is a refrigerator, which will loot for food. Nice. Give me all that. I guess I'm wrong. I must be in the wrong house. Uh, so this is where Boots is. Let's go talk to Boots. Some food, but most of it's ransacked. Some of the cleaner and stuff that's useful. <clears throat> Fresher cooker, toaster. There's some cigarettes over here. That's what the main loot in here, actually. These packs of cigarettes. Pick those up. And... A little bit of food over here. Sugar bombs. Weapon repair kit. Ooh, I didn't know that was there. That's actually real good. Hey, buddy. God damn it. I was nodding off until you barged in here. And I don't hurt when I sleep. Just give me some goddamn medics and fuck off, will ya? Why are you still here? I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Prize for second place was I got to live, but they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled, get it? I can spare some medics. And you're a fucking dream come true, ain't you? How much you gonna give me? One dose. Big fucking deal. Hand it over. Uh, what happened to this town? The Legion happened. What the fuck's it look like? How did you survive? Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. It's okay, Swanick's dead. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. How'd your plan go wrong? We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. Well, you, you are bad people, boxcars. I call you what do you boots? think? What's wrong with me? started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. 
Guess that's lucky, cuz it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs, and the winner, they let go free. You said some people were enslaved? Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged them off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. Maybe I am. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I don't give a fuck. What happened to the mayor? Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. Let's talk about something else. Like, That's it. Yeah, Booted. That's why I was thinking his name was Booted, because the name of the quest is Booted. Yeah, so, uh, apparently the Legion came into town and, uh, you know, they, uh, did everything that dude just said. And that's why I hate Swanick so much, because he's a jerk. Nobody likes Swanick. Swanick, Swanick, I don't know. I don't remember there being much up here. There's that save, yay. Actually, it's not bad. Hmm. Okay, I take it back. When I said yay, I meant it. Oh, there's also a bathtub over here with water in it, but it has rats, so I've never seen the point. Uh, let's do what I planned on doing, which was condensing some of these helmets down. Um, do not condense those BB guns down. That would be bad. I guess there's a bed up here, too, besides that safe, but that's about it. Alright, so we're going to head back downstairs. And continue exploring Nipped In. Um, mailbox, Tales of Chivalry, which is useless, but good to sell. Um, there's not much in this house, either, if I remember right. A couple of these houses are just boring. They got some beds, which is nice. And Sunset Stars, Sarsaparilla Bottle Caps, but that's about it. Take that. Someday I'm going to have to actually find the rest of the bits to make my uh, weapon repair kits. Yeah, purified water ain't bad. And that's some decent alcohol. Which is going to put me over carrying capacity again. Um... Throw that flower. Uh, let's see what our stats look like. Um, we can use some food and some water, so we're gonna eat some. Do I have any Brahmin steaks? No, I just have Brahmin meat. Brahmin steaks trade through your strength, so they're pretty great. I don't have any of those really. I miss Fallout 4 and the ability to, you know, sort your, uh, um, is that actually reduced? Nope, nope, that makes my H2 go up, I forgot, yeah. But, I want to drink them just in for the case of, might end up with some, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. If you drink, uh, Sunset Sasperillos, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna head over here. There's always a scorpion over here, you gotta watch out for. There's a couple dead ones, those are okay, but there is a live one. It might be in that trailer. That scared me, because that dude's not normally there. Stupid crow. Huh. Pretty sure there was always a scorpion over here. Oh, the prospector must have killed it. Ash Pal here with a Legion Recruit Armor and Machete. Legion Recruit Armor is not that bad, and uh, but I always leave it there in case I need it for later. This is one of the first spawns of a laser rifle that you're guaranteed to get in the game um, because it's always there. 
because it's uh, um. Oh, there. There's one of the scorpions. I wish I could have got a sneak attack on you, but that's not the end of the world. Yeah, help out, Prospector. Did I get no XP because of the Prospector help? What a jerk! Um, yeah, there's more than one scorpion around here. These, these things always weird, like, like, these trailers. I don't get the point, because I'm like, okay. They don't look, like, burned or anything. You know, like somebody burned them down like all the other houses on fire. Hey, buddy. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gamers away. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Um, they don't look burned. But there's nothing in them. The ones over there. Like, this one's fine. It's got some stuff in it. But the ones over there, nothing in it. And so I'm like, why? And here's the side gate to Prim. Um, there's a couple other houses I want to go into, then we're going to go into the main hall. Yeah. Uh, actually, I want to go into those other houses for their sweet loot, which I can't carry right now. So yeah, I might have to take care of that too. Ah, uh, so over capacity. Um... There. Drink a beer. Get up my strength a little bit. Yeah, having that one strength, it always sounds like a great idea when I start, but it's kind of a pain. But it is mechanically the best possible build, especially since the BB gun only needs one strength. Pick up some more beer, just in case I need to drink one to uh, raise my strength. Funnily, that's what I mostly use beer for. I don't uh, sell it because it's got bad weight to sell ratio, but it's got decent. It's decent for raising your strength. All right, first we'll head into this house. I don't remember which one this is. One of these has scorpions. Yeah, these guys are no big deal because they can't get out. So you can just shoot them. And the exposed bits, and they're basically free XP. Uh, let's see. Ow. That was my leg. Yeah, there's lots of landmines and stuff in here. Can't tell if I'm hitting the container or the scorpion. Normally, the easiest way to take care of these guys, by the way, is just to throw a grenade in here. So yeah, this house is full of traps. You want to be careful. Tripwire there. Landmine there. Declaration of Vital Essence, which is basically this guy's crazy rambling. I, Harry Collins, hereby declare sole proprietorship of vital essence and claim hereto to all legitimate rights and defending said S's versus all comers QED. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, dudes are crazy pants. And he locks everything in his house. By the way, take a legionnaire here. While you get a chance. And recruit helmet. It's worth taking. It doesn't make you NCR. Um... And it looks cooler than the trooper helm. <laughs> That's about it. Lots of pork and beans. Not really something I want to get my hands on. So um, keep making your way this way carefully. Disarm the tripwire. Disarm the landmine. Do not step on that plate because that's what lets out all the scorpion. Um, yep, all this stuff is locked. Can't even take anything right now. Um, yep, nothing in there worth taking. But we did get a level up. Normally I'd kill these scorpions, but today they get to live. With that, we got a level up. Um, we're level 6. 
So, um, right, guns. Guns needs to keep going up. Uh, we got two points left. Put a couple points in the barter. Yeah. That sounds good. Eh, let's just put that those last two points in the guns. Get over my the thing where I have to put things at. Alright, so um level six. Melee uh, weapons break five, huh? So let's look at this real quick so I can plan for the future. Level six, is there anything what I want that I can't get? Um nope. 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 Some of these I want. Um, this level, I'm probably gonna take... Uh, Bloody Mess. Um, because that's gonna give me a little bit more damage. Uh, level 8, I definitely... If level 8's the... Wow, there's a lot of level 8. Um... Yeah, level eight. I'm, I want cowboy because cowboy functions with because uh, the BB gun's a lever action. It actually, increases the damage it does. So we're gonna need melee weapons forty five. Um, considering we're at melee weapons nine, I'm gonna start pumping that up right now. Um, get ten next level. The level after that, we'll get another ten, which should be just enough to get our what we need up. So yeah, we're going to take Bloody Mess because it's going to give us 5% extra damage, which doesn't... It kind of helps and it doesn't because it pushes us up from... We're at 4 DPS, 6 DPS. It gives us 1 extra DPS, I believe. So it went up from 5 to 6, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, I could quick save. Um, these guys don't give you XP, otherwise I'd shoot them to death. Uh, yeah, so, got some stuff to do real quick here. We're going to swing over by Good Springs and get my leg fixed and dump some stuff off. And then we'll come back to Nipton and head into the main hall. Um, I'm trying to collect the most amount of money I can, obviously, because, uh, oh, beer's worn off. Drink another one. I drank it. Okay. Yeah, that leg looks like it hurts. So we'll head over to Jack Mitchell's house, ask him to, you know, fix us up again. It's not like he did pull a bullet from our head at one point. Ooh, Wonder Glue. That's worth taking. Um... Doc... Uh, can you... I'm hurt. I need help. 75 caps. And he'll heal our health and our broken leg from that way in mind. Alright, thanks, Doc. Right. Um, then we'll go talk to Chet real quick. Yeah. Oh. You know, I was thinking about it. You know why I don't want to put on the recruit helmet? It takes off my breathing mask. And breathing mask is just free radiation resistance on this character. So, yeah, that's, that's totally worth taking. Wait, can I wear that? Oh, no, I didn't try to but see if I could wear a goggle helmet. Keep forgetting. I head in the goods from the store. Hello, chat. Buy my things. Look up, chat. Wake up. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, what you gonna to buy some of my stuff? Okay. Always check and see if he's got BBs. It's possible he might. He does not. Um, also, I always take a quick check to see if, like, because they have, like, random inventories. They might have a weapon repair kit, which is totally always worth buying. 
Wonder Glue and the wrench are actually worth buying too to make my own weapon repair kits. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and we'll drop this frag mine, this plasma pistol. I need to get rid of that shovel. There's no reason to carry it around. It weighs too much. Um, still want to hang on to the combat armor. Even though it weighs so much. Uh, I might get rid of it. Alright, uh, as always, I'm going to sell all of my uh, alcohol, vodka, that doesn't weigh anything, scotch. And we'll go over to miscellaneous and we can sell cartons of cigarettes, drain energy cells. Hang on to that duct tape. You don't have any duct tape, do you, buddy? That's going to be my limiting factor on uh, making a. Satisfied. All right, I should clean this dude out. Um, also, sell my ammunition. Yeah. Um, Pleasure doing business with you. See ya, nerd. All right. Uh, so. While I'm thinking about it, why don't we make that uh, buffer repair kit I've been promising to make? Why can't I? I'm missing scrap electronics. Well, and duct tape, but I'm mostly missing scrap electronics. Um, where's a good place to get scrap electronics? Ooh, I know. Okay, so we're gonna head down to the Good Springs source, and then. And take a drink of water because we're thirsty. And we're gonna make our way this way. We're gonna try to be quiet and careful because there's a lot of geckos around here. Though we're pretty decent at killing geckos because of uh we do 75% more damage to geckos. Special on sneak attack particles, so wanna try to be Quiet when we're killing them, if we can. That's what a silenced weapon is for. The one benefit of the BB gun is that it's silenced. That's about it. Get a hunter. So yeah, we don't want to turn right here. We want to keep going. We're going up towards that. That that hash mark right there. There's a gecko. More than one gecko. Trying to hit him before he got to us, but... Oh, this may not be the best plan. Oh, right. Gun broke. I was like, what happened? And that gecko drops, giving us his hide, which I don't even feel like picking up. Why am I still in danger? Oh, there's more geckos. That's why. Hello, my friend. There's another one goes down. Get some more shots in this gecko. Nice, good hit. Yeah, we're regularly killing the weakest enemies in the game now. That's, you know, encouraging. Uh, Alright, um... I think that guy's coming for me. And we dropped him, too. Not bad. Not bad at all. There's a young gecko who's stuck on the rocks. We'll finish you off, buddy. It's okay. I, I can't hit him. Hold still. There we go. Finally hit him, I think. So yeah, um... I just emptied all those rounds into the rocks. 
that. Fish shake. Alright, so we're gonna head up this way. And yeah, there's this little uh, um, big potato trailer up here. Yes, it says keep out. You can ignore that. I hop up inside. Ooh. Lots of radios and stuff. Fission battery. Um, specifically, one scrap electronics. Isn't there more? I guess there's not more. There's also two sensor modules here. These are important if you ever want to do, like, the Eddie quest. Because, yeah. Two sons. Three. Nope, none of those were stars, were they? Those were just ball caps. One of those might have been a ball star. I wasn't paying attention. More importantly, another scrap metal and wasteland survival guide. That's, that's one of the real reasons I came up here. All right. So let's swing by Primble on our way back to No Nipdin Nova, and because there's something else I want to do while I'm in Prim. A couple things actually. Um, one, if we head up here, there's always a copy of the Me Slurp review and some nice ammunition in these boxes. Those actually have. Those are like higher quality boxes. They tend to actually have like missiles in them and sometimes and stuff. Head past this corpse that they've left here for forever. I, I don't know why. And. Here's Johnson Nash. By the way, we'll trigger the Mojave box. And my game's trying. Windows is trying to update. No, stop it. Um. Ruby. Howdy. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Uh, tell me, who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long timers. He fancies himself a trader, and I know my way around the kitchen. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Well, that sounds great. Would you make me some? Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? I got a few. Hand them over and I'll get to baking. Thanks, Ruby. Also, there's a couple good magazines here to steal if you ever need to steal a couple magazines. Um, I don't know where the workbench in this town is, but while I'm thinking about it, let's head into the Vicky and Vance. Nope, still not out of time. What are you doing here? Ah, here. This is our casino, punk. Hey, Layla. Um, punk, that's my line. <laughs> huh. You've got moxie, buddy. But we don't take kindly to tourists on our turf. 100 caps should cover this trip into our territory. Ah, oh, it's speech 30 again. Why? Why is it always speech 30? Put on our fancy clothes. And then... Howdy, Prim Slim. What are you doing here? This is our casino, punk. Punk, that's my line. You've... They want the caps. Your turn. I guess the news hasn't reached you yet. Prim has locked again. Fuck. We lose again. We heard Prim was ripe for the picking, so figured we could come here and shake down some of the suckers. We weren't expecting a sheriff here. We're yeah. just trying to put as many miles from NCR as we can. We don't want to be anywhere near New Vegas when the Legion crosses the river. Uh, so that's it. You resorted to robbery and raiding to solve your problems. Our luck has gone south since we lost all of our money gambling in Vegas. We didn't go AWOL from duty to become raiders. But we've seen what the Legion does to people that survive their battles. We wanted to be gone before the fighting starts. And we heard there may be some safety up in New Canaan. 
Why not just turn yourselves in? No fucking way. We're deserters now. The NCR isn't gonna throw us a ticker tape parade for going home. Uh, well, they do have a few more troops than the fort. No biggie there. We've been avoiding the patrols and staying low key until this mess. It'd be safer to run and find some place to hide. Maybe you're right. Come on, boys. Let's get the hell out of here before the law shows up. Oh, yeah, not a lot of people actually see that because they don't come back to Fern that often. Um, yeah, so we cleaned out the deserter side quest. Honestly, I think that uh, um, what was I gonna say? I had a thought. Oh, right. That quest should have happened when you, like, fast-traveled into Prim. Not that I'm a fan of getting hijacked as soon as you fast-travel, but, uh, it's better than never seeing it because you never go into the casino ever again, which is a possibility. You guys have a workbench back around here? No? Okay. Um. We're, we're here to see, uh, Major Knight to have him fix our guns. Because I don't want to go into this stuff with no. Been doing a lot of good work. Fix my guns and my armor. There. See you night. And we'll swing back to Nipton. Um. Yeah, these guys should really die after a couple days, but they don't. It says pulling them down off the cross will kill them, but, uh, I don't really have the money or the BBs to, you know, help them into the afterlife. So, yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Some cram. Ooh, gecko steak. Bunch more food. Food's always a good like seller problem is, is I always keep it on me because I forget that uh, I need to dump it off somewhere. Uh, ammunition caught ways in this system. Forgot. Uh, let's drop a beer. Uh, I need to find somewhere to drop some stuff. Um, here we go. We'll use this mailbox. Yeah, this will do. Um, here, have my shovel, combat armor, and most of the stuff I have to make, uh, weapon repair kits, yeah, because I can only make one right now. That stuff should be safe in there if you don't leave it too long. Like, if you leave it there way too long, it'll just, uh, disappear. But, uh, should, it's mostly fine most of the time. Alright, um, we'll have a reload bench. That's worth it. Banana yucca fruit. Maize. Maize is a superfood. Totally worth taking. Some wine. More booze. Which always sells well. Bunch of dead bodies. Oh yeah, well I'm thinking about it. Um, I have a wasteland survival guide, don't I? Yep. Survival increase by three. Empty cabinet, empty kit dresser, bathroom with toolbox with no duct tape. And we're gonna check out one more house before. Uh, we finish off for this episode, and this is the scary one. There's a Mr. Handy in there, or Mr. Gussie with a plasma rifle. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna pop a couple things. One, we should have some atomic cocktails. That gives us some energy resistance, which I totally want. Two, tell me I have a psycho or two. Yeah. All right, first in here. Immediately go into bats and just start laying in.
<laughs> I can't believe he went down that easy. He must be weaker than I remember. Weird. And he's got some flamer fuel and some energy cells, which we're totally going to take. Cause... And the reason we came in here is because this guy has just tons of good stuff. Wonder glue, scrap metal, wrenches, which we're just saving for duct tape, basically. It's a plasma pistol under the bench. And with the bench, we should be able to make one... Oh, our repair's not high enough. That's why we can't make rough and repair kits. Duh. Um, even if we did have more stuff. Yeah, this guy has stuff everywhere. Got weapons in there. Weapons in there. I'm over encumbered. Uh, put those two knives together and uh, then throw it away because the value is lousy. Pair those two revolvers together. Why am I. Oh, the leather armor. Um, he's got a submachine gun under there, which we're not going to pick up because we're obviously having weight problems. Some whiskey, which we are going to pick up because it's worth quite a bit. Um. Bridge. Place our common cocktail, apparently. Um, some more food. We do not need more food. We are leaving the food. Uh, Wonder glue. Cigarettes. Welding gun, which we. It's not a pickup item, which has always weirded me out. We head in here. There's a single shotgun behind the thing right there. Um, take this guy's ear. There's an average lock safe, which I cannot get into. By the way, I'm always over cast capacity when I want to jump over that bed, which kind of makes me mad. There's a laser rifle in here, which is pretty great. Um, get these two single shotguns get together, and then... I don't know. I already drank some beer, right? Yeah. Do we have any buff out? Buff out, yeah. Buff out. Strength goes up by two. And we'll take some other armor. And yeah, so that's this house cleaned out. Um, I'm going to run over and drop my stuff off in the mailbox. And then uh, we'll head into Nipton Town Hall. And join me next time as we head in and fight lots of dogs. Yep, that's what's going to happen. All right, I'll see you then.